What's up guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Alex and this is my second YouTube video ever. So this whole channel, it's pretty new to me, but I've been active on Instagram and on TikTok for about a year and a half now. I've been doing trading signal reviews. But today's subject, it's about the trading signal copier that I keep talking about. I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. I'll tell you what exactly it is. I'll tell you how it works, how exactly it achieves the copying and why I'm using such a software. And then we'll jump on the computer together and I'll show you exactly how I install it, how I configured the software. I'll show you exactly how I have it configured so that you can have it configured just like me if you would like. I'll also talk about an optional VPS, a virtual private server. Now that's not something that you have to use. And if you stick until the end, I will also tell you about which signal provider I'm currently using. Okay, so what exactly is a trading signal copier software? Well, it's a software and its job is to automate the trades coming from your signal provider directly to your trading account, to your MT4 trading account. So it does this by analyzing what's in the signal group, what in, what's in the group chat of your signal provider. It understands it and it will execute trades and it will also manage the trades automatically without without you having to do anything. When I'm saying managing the trade, I mean like if your signal provider is asking you to put the stop loss at break even, the copier can do that for you. I'll give you more details about how the software will analyze what's written in a chat and how it manages to understand what's written in there, but it gives you an idea. Now, there's a few reasons why I want my trades to be automated when it comes to trading with signal providers. The first reason is the obvious one. I like to sleep at night. <laughs> signal providers won't care in what time zone you are. They will just send trades or send messages 24 hours a day most of the time. And even those who say they stick to the London session or the New York session, it's not a rare thing to see them send at least either a trade at night or manage a trade at night. You don't want to miss this. So first, I like to sleep. The second thing is the, the copier, it's a software and it doesn't do any human error. So human errors will always happen. It could be on either side. It could be on the follower side. So let's say me, I can make an error while inputting the trade. I can click the wrong place. I actually once bought when I, wa when I want to sell and vice versa. Um, so the copier won't do any kind of mistake like this. It will also protect you from some of the mistakes that a signal provider can do. This will be part of my configuration. We'll get to this a little later. The third is for the speed of execution. As soon as the trade comes in your Telegram group, it will be in your MT4 account. There's no delay, it's instant. The fourth thing is that the copier will help me to be super rigorous. There's no questions asked. As soon as the copier has to do something, it doesn't think twice about it, it's gonna execute it. And the fifth one is just because I'm following too many signals now. I'm following many signals, I'm testing many signals, uh, and I just don't have the bandwidth to do everything manually. I need it now. <laughs> Hopefully that gives you an idea. Now let's jump into the more specific stuff. Let's jump on the computer. So the first step is pretty simple. You simply have to buy and install the copier software. Now to do this, I invite you to click the link in the description box below and you will find a link to the copier software that I'm using because there's quite a few of these software out there on the markets. I tested a bunch and I'm confident to say that the one I'm using is the best one. It's light years ahead of all the others in terms of how you can configure it, which is what makes it so great. So you can click the link below. I will click the link in my bio on Instagram and right there, the, the link to the copier software. It will open Telegram. You can click start and we can choose plans. So this is where you'll be buying the copier software. So one account is $30 a month and it's plenty. You can add as many providers as you want with one copier account. The only thing you can't do is to have two different setups. So if you would like to have one account where you're actually using these signal providers and another account where you're testing providers and you wanna bring them maybe to a demo trading account, then you need two copy your account in order to do this. Also a little later, I will be talking about the pro version of the copier and you'll decide if you want to buy this or not. So we'll go ahead and choose the first monthly subscription 
and you can pay right here. Now, of course, I've done this before. So as soon as your payment is done, you'll receive two new messages on Telegram. One is your token. We'll have to use it a little bit later. The other one is a link that we'll click. It's the link to download the copier software. So right away, the, download, the, the copier is downloading. Once it's downloaded, you'll find this zipped file in your downloads. So let's extract it. Now that it's installed, you'll find two files in there. One of them is an installation guide. You can read it through. It's pretty useful. The other one is actually the software that we want to install. But before actually installing it, if your MT4 platform or MT5, or MT5 platform is open, let's just close it. Okay, close it before installing. Now we'll double click this. We'll go more info and run anyway and you'll go through the install process you just click through until it's fully installed i don't really need to do this because the software is already installed on my computer so i'll close this and there you go telegram signals copier the first step is to link the copier software to your telegram account so i'll just put my phone number in there as soon as you click next on your telegram account you'll receive a code so when it's the first time you log in, the software is asking for your token. We just received the token on Telegram. So you can go ahead and copy this token and paste it in the software in order to access your copier account. So welcome to the copier software. This is what it looks like. So the first thing I want to check is in the main settings of the copier software. I'll click here. I'll make sure that I'm not on the simple mode. I want to be on advanced mode because I'll get many more uh, settings and configurations possible by using the advanced mode. I don't need to change anything else in there. So I can close this. We'll go on account management and we'll create an account. Let's call this one install info and create an account, install info. There we go. So this is where if you just bought more than one copier account, well, you'll be able to create more than one account right here. Let's have a look at what we're seeing here. So this box and this box, there's nothing appearing right now, but as you're using the copier software, you'll see that it's gonna track your progress. It's gonna track how well you're doing, and you can even see which signal provider is actually doing better. Let's go a little lower. So this is where we'll be adding signal providers to this account. Here you'll have an history of all the trades that got executed by the copier software. Symbol setting, the idea is that your signal provider might be calling an asset differently than your broker. So let, let me give you an example. Let's say our signal provider is calling gold XAUUSD. So the, the signal provider might be saying sell XAUUSD at this price. Now in this, um, in this broker account I have right here, you can see that XAUUSD is actually called XAUUSD check. You can see it right beside my cursor here. So what I have to do is tell the software that in my broker XAUUSD is actually called XAUUSD check and I'm adding it like that. So any symbol, um, I've seen times where EURUSD was EURUSD point S and it was the same for all, all the Forex pairs. So this is where you can change this. And this signal strategy rules, I don't use it. So now let's add a signal provider in there. We'll go back up here and you'll see that big blue button add provider will click on it. On the left side, you'll see that any channel you have in your Telegram account will appear here. I'll find my test channel. And let's say I wanna add in my copier account this test channel. So the first thing here, message template. You pretty much always use it on automatic. And let me show you, it's basically the way that the copier will understand um, the signal message, okay? Let's test one so you can understand what I mean. I'll click on test message here. And let's take this trade by Alex Santi as an example. So I'll just copy the selected text, text and I'll paste it here. I will click on analyze. And here you can confirm that whenever the copier will receive such a message, it will analyze it properly and do the right things with it. So the pair is gold and it did understand it. Symbol XAUUSD, it's a sell stop, it's a sell stop, there you go. We have the proper entry, we have the proper stop loss. And if we go down, we can see that the TP levels are all there. 
He, it, it's not riding more than three TPs in there, but let me tell you, it knows even if there is more. Okay, so that's great. And you can test multiple messages in there. So this way you can really confirm that your signal provider is copier friendly. The copier software does understand when your signal provider sends a message, sends a trade. So the second step is risk management. And with this, the copier software will know how big of a trade it needs to open. It's gonna know what's the lot size it needs to use, the lot size. So there's a few options for you to use. I really like to use a risk percentage of my account balance. I actually use 0.5% for most of the providers. And basically what it means is that every time a trade comes in, the copier will check where the stop loss is. And based on how far the stop loss is, it will open a smaller or bigger trade. What it wants to achieve is that if we do hit the stop loss, I will be losing 0.5% of my trading account. This is something that helps me being very rigorous because I don't need to guess how big of a trade I need to open. The copier will do it for me, always based on the stop loss, always based on how much I'd be losing if we hit the stop loss. In this case, 0.5%. So the risk management is done. Now let's tell what we want to do with these multiple take profit levels. If your provider is using one single take profit, then you, you can simply remove any other take profit level and use 100% close at the TP1. I want to close the whole trade when we hit the take profit. This makes sense. But there's many signal providers out there using multiple take profit levels and that's okay. We can add these take profit levels back. Um, let's go back to this Alex Santi trade. Let's say I wanna take 20% um, of my profit when we hit TP number three and I wanna take the rest of it at TP number four, okay? So let's go back here. I said I wanna take, what did I say? 20% here and the rest here. So, whoops, it has to add up as 100. Now by default, it's gonna move the stop loss every time we hit a take profit level. I don't want this. So let's go on strategy and I will just uncheck this box here, okay? And let's do this for all. The only one I'll keep is to set the stop loss at the entry once we hit the first take profit level. And then once we get to the fourth one, all of my position will be automatically closed. So just like that, most of the trades of most signal providers are already set. Everything should work perfectly. But sometimes we do have signal providers, they will ask you with words in Telegram, put your stop loss at break even. So this is where the next section comes handy. Let's have an example. Okako trading is using only one take profit level. So when we're on the way to get to this take profit, he will say, let's put the trade risk free. This means we have to move the stop loss to the entry. So if I look at Okako trading, I can use the search function to confirm what I'm saying here. I'm gonna write risk free. And every time Okako wants us to put the stop loss at break even, he will say risk free. Same thing here, you can go risk free. So I know for a fact that if I check this mark and I write risk free, whenever the copier sees this, it's gonna put my stop loss at break even automatically. For this to work, the provider must be replying to the signal message. This is an important one. So if we're looking here, you can go risk free he's actually replying to the original signal message. This way the copier know which trade he's talking about. So for this to work, the provider must be using the same keywords whenever he wants you to do an action, to manage your trade. And he must be replying to the signal message, although there's another option for this. If we go a little lower, instead of replying to the message, he could just say which pair, which asset he's talking about. So we can just, do it the same way here when he's saying risk free. So let's say he's just saying XAUUSD, let's put it risk free. Well, even if he's not replying, the copier will understand. So I do use the move SL to the entry a lot and I also use the close here. So as another example, uh, Okako is using full close as a keyword quite often when he wants us to close the trade before we actually hit the stop loss or break even. Let me show you. 
close full. We can see here the trade was not put at break even before, but now he's asking us to close it. So as soon as the copier sees full close, it's gonna close it. And we have more examples like this. Now I found one here that's that's a bit different. Close my full position. So this is another one I can be I can use. Just like that. Now I have two keywords in there. And just in case your provider is doing a little mistake and he's not replying to the signal message, I'll just put the same keywords in there as well. Close my full, full close. There you go. So there's a lot of other options possible in there. You can read them, you can figure out how it works, but I think that if you feel like you need to put too many keywords or if you need to change the stop loss or change the take profit quite often, it gets very complicated. And if there's too much stuff in there, it actually might trigger some errors. So try to keep it super simple, as simple as possible. If you feel like you need to put too much stuff in there, well, the signal provider might not be that copier friendly. If we look up here, there's a few more sections of uh, available settings. Break even, I don't use it. We already have our break even with the TP strategy and with the keywords here. So this one, I don't use it. Manipulate signal, there's this setting right here that I really like. Basically, it's putting a pending order at the signal entry point. If the price is more than, I like to put five pips away from the price that you have in your broker account. So if your signal provider is telling you, get in this trade right now at this price, but then in your broker account, this price is not there. We're, the price is actually further out. Um, more than five pips in that case. It's gonna put a pending trade instead of just getting in the trade at a bad entry price. The pending trade will be exactly where the signal provider asks you to get in in the first place. And this is working very well for me because I feel like it's not a rare thing that the price anyway will retest the entry point. So you actually have your pending order triggered and um, yeah, it does happen sometimes that you miss a trade because of this setting, but I prefer missing a trade than just getting in a trade at a bad entry price. And it basically uh, affects the risk reward quite a bit when, when such a thing happened. So this is a really good setting. There's a couple more settings here that I like as well, but I'll get back to it later. Filter signal. This is another one that I actually use. This setting, the idea is that the copier will only enter the signal if the, if the stop loss is less than, let's put a big number here, like 5,000 pips or something like that. The idea is that I wanna protect myself from trades that don't have a stop loss. I just don't want my copier to take such a risk. So by putting this setting here, well, if there's no stop loss, it means that the stop loss is more than 5,000 pips away from the entry. So the, sig so the copier won't take the trade. The other thing I like to use is that I want to put five pips here. I, I never had very good results with any trades that have less than five pips stop loss. So by putting this trade there, my copier won't take any trade that have less than five pips of stop loss and I prefer it this way. Okay, the money management section, I don't use it. Let's go further. Trading times, this is your broker time, by the way. I do put uh, a little cutoff time on Friday afternoon. I don't really want the signal provider to take a trade on, on Friday afternoon, just before the weekend, before the market close. So this is something I do to protect myself from these trades. I don't wanna hold anything through the weekend if I don't need it. News filter, I don't use it. Now the pro section. There is some interesting stuff in there. I do have it. Um, you'll decide if you need it. It's very useful if you're trading with prop firms like FTMO, MyForex Funds, any prop firm account. It can be a challenge, it can be a funded account. You kind of need this. The idea is that these prop firms, they, they really don't want you to pass a challenge using the trades of a signal provider and a copier. So we kind of have to trick them a little bit. But you wanna have a trade that is slightly different to everyone else's trade that is following the same signal as you. Because these prop firms will look at a pool of trade that has the same exact parameters and it happened at the exact same time. 
they know it's coming from a copier and signals. So we will slightly manipulate the trade and change the trade. First we'll change the timestamp of your trade by delaying it a little bit. Putting this setting will put a random time delay, let's say 5 to 20 seconds, to every execution. Another thing I like to do to trick them a little bit, we'll go back in um, manipulate signal. And I will start to add or remove more or less one pip to every level, to the stop loss, to the entry point, to the take profit levels. So let's say I'm going to add 1.2 pips to my stop loss. I'm going to remove 0 0.6, whoop, 0 0.6 pips to any entry point on pending trades. I'll go back up and I'll change all of my take profits just a slighty bit as well. So we'll click on strategy and right here I can add 0 0.5 pips to my first take profit. I can even add another 0 0.8 pips to the stop loss at break even and I can do this for all the other take profit levels as well. So this is what it would look like. So by doing this, the signal providers trade, well, you just make it your own trade. There's no other trade exactly like yours. That's about it. If we go down, uh, we were at the pro, then all of the other functions, I just simply don't use them. So let's just add this provider. There you go. Provider has been added. I can close this and now I see that my test channel provider is right here. There's one other thing important to do if you want to use this on prop firm account. I'll click on test channel and I will remove the comment. Okay. The comment would get attached to the trade in MT4. You don't really want the prop firm to see this. So I'm removing the comment and I'm saving. Later down the road, let's say I don't want to use the trades of this provider anymore. I can just uncheck this box and now the copier will totally ignore the signal provider. But let's keep it for now. And this new signal provider, if I want to change something about it, I can click this little wheel here. I can click on edit my settings. I'll be back here editing my settings. Another thing that's really cool is um, this section here. So I use this a lot. You know, I share my settings with you guys and the way to import my settings in your copier account is right here. So you will add the provider yourself. You will click here. I'll be sharing a big code. You just copy paste it in there. I didn't create the code. Um, the copier does this automatically. If you want to share your settings with someone, you can simply share code. And here it is. You click copy to clipboard and it's just like if you did a uh, copy you can just paste it anywhere else now and it's also a good way to back up your settings if you're changing something but you want to make sure that later down the road you can come back to it you can save this code in some file somewhere so that's about it for the providers there's one other section i want to show you and it's message history um, in there you'll see everything that the copier received from telegram every message will be uh, shown in there separately. Now it looks weird because I just installed it and I played around with it a little bit. So you'll see as you use it, the message history will build and whenever something happens and you're not sure why it happened, you can go back to message history and you will find in there um, the message that the copier interpreted in some way and what it did with it. You'll see everything that the copier does and why it did it in this message history section. Another cool thing about this message history section is that if your signal provider edit his own message, you will see what was written before the signal provider edited his message in Telegram right here in this message history section. That's pretty much hit on how the software works. There's one thing left to do is to attach your copier account to your MT4 so that it can actually insert your trades in MT4. So to do this, um, you will open your MT4 account. By the way, it works with MT5. I keep saying MT4, but it works with MT5 as well. When you install the copier software, you will see that it automatically installed a new expert advisor. You'll see here, Telegram Signals Copier. But before using this expert advisor, there's, there's one thing you have to do. We'll go in Tools, we'll go in Options, and you will click these three checkboxes. 
Now we will want to add a new URL in there. The way to find the URL you need to add is in the installation instructions. So we'll go back to the folder here. Remember there's an install guide. Okay, we'll scroll down. This can be helpful as well if you want to read it. But basically, um, there's a lot in there that is the same as what I just explained to you. Okay, this is the URL, so I can copy this and I will paste it in there. There you go. Okay, all right. Now we can take our Telegram Singles Copier Expert Advisor and slide it on any chart. It can be only one chart, no problem with that. Usually it starts here and then um, make sure that allow live trading is clicked here. We'll go in inputs and this is where you put your account name. This is case sensitive by the way. So if I go back to my copier, what was it? Install info. So install info. There you go. Uh, the order comment, we already deleted it, but just to make sure it's actually deleted, let's turn it to false. And Okay, and it's working. You see here there's a little smiley face besides the Telegram Signals copier and we can see here the account name, install info. It's listening to one signal provider at 0.5% risk. You would see the name of the provider right here if we would have left uh, the comment in there but we removed the comment so nothing gets written. That's okay like this. And it's running, it's working. Let's do a test so you can actually see it working. I just went in the setting and I removed the time delay so that you see it's instant instantaneously executed. I'll just paste a trade right here, whatever trade. This is a gold trade I checked from uh, Okako. And there you go, right here it happened right away. Now let's say if I wanna close it the way Okako would do it. Full close, there you go. And if we look here, boom, it just disappeared. So for everything to work properly, MT4 and the signal copier, it needs to run 24 seven. It needs to be on a stable internet connection as well. Um, otherwise you'll miss some trades or some management. If there's a way for you to just leave your computer running, you don't really have power outage, um, internet's good where you live, you don't need the VPS, but otherwise you will need it. So a VPS, it's, it stands for virtual private server. It's basically a computer on the internet. It's your new computer that you don't have physically. You can access it from anywhere. It runs Windows and it runs 24 hours a day on a stable internet connection. So I use VPS from InterServer. You can find it by clicking the link below. I'll click it right here, no, VPS, there you go, enter server. So it's a cloud VPS, I'm on Windows, there you go. I like to use two slices, two cores, because it runs so much better. Otherwise it's kind of a pain to use only one, but it is cheaper and it could work. I'll buy it now. So this is where you decide what kind of VPS you want to buy. I used to buy KVM, but they're sold out. Hyper-V does work though. So New Jersey is closer to me, two slices, two cores. I want it on Windows. Everything's good here. So I will just continue. Once you buy it, it's gonna be on pending status for sometimes a few hours before it actually goes active. And then when it goes active, you'll receive an email that contains your password and your VPS number. To access your VPS from a Windows computer, it's super simple. You will go on your start menu and you will find the remote desktop connection. Every Windows computer has this. And this is what it looks like. Right in there, you will put your VPS address that you just received in your email. So I'll put mine. That's my VPS IP address. And since it's the first time I'm logging in on this computer, I will show options and I will click this box right here and I will connect. Now it's asking me for my password that I also received in my email. And there we go. Now we're accessing our brand new VPS. So while it's loading, by the way, you can have an app that does the remote desktop connection. And I, I don't know much about Apple product. I've never been an Apple person, but uh, I heard there's a way for you to access a remote desktop connection with a Macintosh as well. So here's our brand new VPS, but before installing anything in it, I want to turn off Windows Update because Windows Update sometimes it will run and when it runs, it restarts the VPS and you don't know about it and now your, your copier is not running anymore. So we will go in CMD, 
command prompt. There you go. We will type s config enter. So here we choose five because this is the update setting. And here I'll click three to have it manually done. I don't want it automatic. Let's click enter. And now the update setting is on manual. So we won't have Windows Update running automatically. Good, we can close this. So there's two things I wanna have in this brand new computer. I wanna have my copier software and my MT4 platform. I'll start by downloading the MT4 platform. Any platform, any MT4 works. As I said, if you're using MT5, that's fine. I'll go on my broker, there you go. And I'll download the MT4 platform. All right, so I have an MT4 platform in there. So now I will go back to my own computer. I will copy this link right here, which was the link we, we got that would let us download the copier software. So I'll go on the internet, paste this link, enter, and the download should start automatically. There you go. And this will be the exact same step as we already seen. So I don't think I need to, uh, to show it twice. All right, so our copier is now installed. Uh, while it was installing, I still had my MT4 terminal open. So I'll need to close it and open it back again in order to confirm that the uh, expert advisor got installed as well. Let's see. There you go, it's there, that's good. Okay, let's open our copier. So now we're in this empty new copier software. I wanna bring my whole configuration in from my computer. So I will go back to my computer, to the copier software from the computer. I'll go up here in the upper right settings and I will export data. This will give me a file and I will bring this file over to my VPS computer. So I simply copied the file, I will paste this file right here in the download folder. And then I can go in this empty copier. I'll go in the settings and I can import data from this file that we'll find right here in the download folder. Let's open it, let's import. Okay, I think we're good. That's it. So our install info account is now in this copier we have our provider, all of the settings will be in there. And the only thing left to do is to simply go back to your MT4 and attach uh, the expert advisor to a chart. You still had to do some things in the options there, but I showed you all of that already. So that's it, you're all, all set, ready to go with your new copier setup. All right, guys, I hope that it wasn't too complicated. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I hope that you feel comfortable now using a copier software. But even if you do feel comfortable, I think you should try it on a demo account first. This way you're not putting your money at risk right away or your challenge account at risk right away. And because simple little mistakes, it happens all the time in trading. Even if it's just you clicking the wrong button, it can happen. So. I, can, I think that you should consider practicing on a demo account at least for a few days just to get familiar with this whole setup if it's new for you. And at the beginning I did say that it would tell you about which signal provider I'm currently using. Now I'm currently using the signals of three signal providers but I want you to know that which signal provider I'm using changes a lot. I'm testing a bunch of providers all the time and I, and I only want to use the trades of the providers that are currently doing their best, that they are at the top of their game. So for me right now, the three best providers that I know about, it would be Alex Santi, Investroy, and Okako Trading. These are the three I'm currently using. This will change probably very soon, and I will always announce any change I'm doing to my setup on my Instagram stories. So you can stay super up to date by, by making sure you watch my story. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much, especially if you sticked until the end like this. And if you did, please click that little like button. It's gonna help me a lot. And consider subscribing to my channel. It's a brand new channel and there's a lot of content coming your way. So thank you very much once again, and I'll see you in the next video.